Hey, happy Wednesday to you. It is a, another episode of Lisa Live, and I hope you're having a great day. We're at the midway point of the week. It's all running towards the weekend from here. And for those of you uh, that celebrate Christmas, we're getting closer, so hopefully your shopping is done. So staying with my little book of confidence gems. I am loving this so much, by the way. Like even just the ones I have peeked at are super, super good. So today, the verse is, never undervalue yourself. Remember that you deserve to have the best life possible. How great is that? Never, never undervalue yourself. How often? How often do we undervalue ourselves? And whether it's the the skills that we have for a particular job or career or, or opportunity, or whether it's our ability to be a good friend, or maybe it's just our ability to make good decisions. Um, on my last Lisa Live, the comments on Facebook, my mom, um, Jody, who I love dearly, actually commented and shared her heart a little bit about her struggle to feel like she's making the best decisions in really difficult circumstances. And my mom is amazing. She deals every day um, with people who are in need and people that are hurting and people whose stories are, are tragic and sad and on a good day difficult. And a lot of that responsibility, a lot of that response really falls on her. And sometimes there's a, a struggle to feel like you're making the right or the best decision. And a lot of that comes back to, do I value myself enough? Do I know that I'm worthy? Do I know that I'm capable to make these decisions? And when it comes to being confident, just trusting yourself, knowing that you're making the right decision, knowing that you're capable and, and empowered and guided by God or whatever source that, that you believe in, um, knowing that you're empowered to make the right decisions and that you are specifically and especially equipped with everything that you need to manage through the circumstances that you're being dealt with. And in the case of my mom, who I love um, more, than, more than anything and appreciate so much, like she, and I tell her this all the time, like she has been uniquely placed and uniquely assigned by God into the position that she's in because she herself is valuable and worthy and equipped and blessed to help other people and to make those difficult decisions and to counsel people and times when they are feeling most desperate, most alone and least hopeful. And it's a big responsibility, and I, I know it weighs on her heart and, and breaks her heart on, on a regular basis, but she's worthy, and she's specifically equipped to be in that spot. And so thinking back, never undervalue yourself. So to my mother, mother, don't ever undervalue yourself. You are in exactly the right place doing exactly the right thing. Remember that you deserve to have the best possible life. You deserve to have the best possible life and you are equipped and empowered in every way and with everything that you need. And whether you are dealing with people that are, are burdened or desperate or hurting or lonely, or whether you're dealing with people who seem to be on top of the world, you are in that position. You have been commissioned for that work for a very specific purpose and you are equipped with everything that you need to do it. So don't ever undervalue yourself. Remember that you deserve to have the best life possible. And that's specifically to my mother who watches everything, every video I put out religiously and is always my biggest cheerleader, and that is to you who, who's watching this now and might be wondering, what am I doing here? Like, how can I possibly be the right person 
to be sitting in this position or to be dealing with the circumstance or to be counseling through this relationship or whatever you're in that you don't feel like you're equipped to manage through, it's not an accident that you're there. So know your value. Know that you are specifically, especially, and extraordinarily equipped for whatever you're facing. And we'll talk tomorrow.